How to become an absolute pro at flirting. So often when we like someone, we get so self-conscious and shy that we are unable to approach them even though we so want to connect with them. And even if you do find the courage to speak to them, often it doesn't exactly go the way you were hoping for. So in this video, I'm going to help you get better at flirting, remove any fears of approaching someone you like and help you be successful. Hi love, my name is Magda Kay. I am an intimacy coach, tantra teacher, and the founder of the School of Intimacy. And welcome! You are in the right place to get all the tips, insights, and techniques to enjoy the most fulfilling and amazing intimate life. So let's talk about flirting and how you can become an absolute pro at it. The advice that I have for you is simple but it's the most powerful thing you will ever learn about flirting it changes everything and that one thing is don't take flirting so seriously it should be about fun so instead of flirting with someone because you want to get a date from them because you want to hook up or you want to be in a relationship Flirt with someone for the sole fun of flirting. When you do that, it changes the whole dynamic of flirting. First, it lowers the stakes. So it allows you to be more relaxed, be more yourself, having the opportunity to show that incredible, fun personality of yours. See, when we tense, we turn the whole conversation tense and then it doesn't really feel good for any one of you. But think of the time when you had really great time, when you laughed so much, you were not tense. It's impossible to have fun and be tense. So if you can switch your mind to simply having fun, your body will naturally relax. The second thing is that you become less needy. So think how uncomfortable you get when someone approaches you and it's so obvious that they want something from you and they can be pushy and very intimidating. It makes you want to run away. So if you just approach flirting as a fun thing you're doing, you're less needy, you're less desperate, and that invites the person you're speaking to to come closer to you. They will relax and they will be more responsive. And the last thing that happens, and to me this is the most important one, is that when you're flirting for fun of doing it, you cannot get rejected. And the fear of rejection is why we don't approach someone we like. So think about it. If you're not asking for anything, they cannot reject that. So I want to give you an example to really illustrate how this switch in how you approach flirting really makes a difference. So imagine one person who is working on a painting because they really want to impress their friend who owns an art gallery. They're hoping they'll like it and they will put it in the gallery for sale. And then you have another person who also paints, but they don't care about impressing the friend, so they're just painting for the sake of painting. Which of these two people do you think will have more fun doing the painting? And also, who do you think will create a better piece of art? In case you're not sure what the answer is, it's actually being tested. So there was an experiment done on the photography students. A group of students was told to pick one picture, the best photo they took, and submit this for the final grade. The other group of students was told to take photos and then give a group a bunch of photos for the final grade. What was discovered is that when it came to grading those photos, the second group that had the freedom to take multiple photos actually delivered better work. Their photos were more creative. Why? Because the first group that had to choose only one, their stakes were very high, they were very stressed about this, and it blocked their natural creative expression. So now let's take it to flirting. If you wait for the person you really like to flirt and then you really want something from that, your stakes are really high. It's like this one best photo that you can deliver. So you're not going to be yourself. 
and it's gonna feel really tense and difficult to just approach that person. Now, compare it to just flirting with people for the fun of flirting, multiple people keep practicing, right? It's like not a big deal. So practice flirting, okay? Speak to as many people as you can, and it's especially good to practice with those that you are not attracted to at all, because then the stakes are really zero. You're not risking anything. You cannot be rejected because there's nothing you want from that. Okay, so keep practice, keep having fun, and you'll notice that in no time, you will feel extremely at ease speaking even to the person that you really, really find attractive. If you would like to go deeper into the art of flirting, we have a whole training dedicated just to that, with specific techniques to help you be yourself, feel at ease, and actually show the person you're interested in your true self. And this way, giving yourself a fair chance in the dating game. So this training is available inside the School of Intimacy. It's our membership platform where you're going to get courses on everything related to the most fulfilling intimate life. So we're talking about tantric sexuality for men and women, sexuality types and compatibility, communication tools, and so much more. And among these trainings, you're going to find the one on how to get better at flirting and seduction. So if you would like to check this course out, head to www.magdakay.com school. And if it feels right, you can read more about it and join us. So love, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a like. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, click that bell for notifications, and you'll be getting more content right into your inbox. And if you would like more updates and some personal insights into my life, well, then make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. I'm very active there, so this is the best platform to connect with me. My love, thank you so much for being here. I so deeply appreciate it. And I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.